The calling of God is not for the strong. The calling of God is not for the naturally talented. The calling of God is for those who know they need a Savior, who want Him. They want His heart. And you're beginning to see it more than you ever had. And the Bible says that Moses headed out, just as many of us are heading out on our journey today. In verse 24, it says, It came to pass by the way in the end that the Lord met him. That's Moses. Exodus 4, 24. And sought to kill him. That's an incredible thought here. God calls a man. He finally yields to the call. And then God seeks to kill him. Now, first of all, it's important to understand something. The Lord doesn't seek to kill anyone. If he wants to kill you, trust me, you are dead. <laughs> no, you see, it's not Moses God wanted to kill. It's something in him. You see, Moses had been a man of the world. He had lived 40 years in Egypt, and he had also lived 40 years in the land of Midian. And the world's ways were still in him. And he was not yet fully in his heart separated to the word and to the will of God. He had a son that was born in Midian. And because he had a Midianitish wife, he hadn't, he hadn't bothered to circumcise his son. And you see, <clears throat> circumcision was a sign of the covenant. And really what it means is that Moses, in his heart, was not fully committed to living for God. And God said, before you go, I have to go after that and kill it. I have to get that out of your heart. I have to pierce between soul and spirit, joint and marrow, and I've got to go right in and discern the thoughts and intents of your heart. Moses, I've got to show you some things in your life, because if you don't see it now, you're going to get out there and you're going to get killed. I've got to show you where you're trusting in yourself. I've got to show you where natural instinct is taken over for the Word of God. You, you are not separated to me, Moses. Let me just read this to you. Jesus Christ himself said in John chapter 15, listen to this. I am the vine and my father is the husbandman. And every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes it away. And every branch that bears fruit, he purges it that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine, and no more can ye except you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. And he that abides in me and I in him, the same brings forth much fruit, for without me you can do nothing. Without me you are wasting your time. Even preaching the gospel, you're wasting your time. You can do nothing without me. It's not about natural ability. This is not a natural kingdom. This is a supernatural kingdom. It is a spiritual kingdom.